Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Admiral Markets webinar session recap, 2nd of May 2016. My name is Nenad, and previous week was uh, very, very good. We had like more than 400 people, so every single trade was gone in a profit, and today also we had a nice profits on Euro dollar. All the previous week was was great, and I made a poll on Twitter, and thanks everyone for participating. That could be a standard uh, question each week, so what was the analysis of the week, but not included session recap. So the analysis of the week that I provide strictly on the website itself. And you have voted for Orient. Also, it was uh, that the dollar cat was good, dollar yen, New Zealand yen, but you voted for Audi yen. So yeah, thank you. I, I need the, those information because I will be also providing maybe additional analysis in the future. So at this point, uh, it's good that you voted. So today's session recap, we'll uh, find uh, five different pairs. Uh, have in mind that some uh, setups have already been playing out. For example, Euro dollar. I have prepared a new setup for Euro dollar. Uh, also, we saw pound dollar getting very close, and it, it basically pound dollar was uh, my favorite uh, pair for the previous week. It rejected three times of 45, 70, 80. POC zone and you could have made more than 100 pips on itself. So we will see how it, it will develop, but at this point you need to pay attention to zones and uh, you need to pay attention to ADP that will be held on Wednesday and some important data that are due very, very soon. So I will be covering this. Before we begin, as always, our standard disclaimer explaining that online education materials are available by Admiral Markets Estonia for a global audience. So if you want any additional information, I advise you to visit admiralmarketsglobal.com, search your country, and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possibilities associated with Forex market. By accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. And final part explained that Admiral Markets UKLTD takes no responsibility for information accuracy. This is solely my opinion. Forest is risky business. So this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. Needless to say, you probably know that Admiral Markets Supreme Edition is available to you by logging into your trader's room. You can download it from there. Also, web trader platform is an excellent uh, way to trade. If your PC is not available, also you can, uh, you could go to this address and uh, see how it behaves. And don't forget it, Iron Markets is official best MT4 broker. It is a statement concerning the session recap trades. You need to give price breathing room. So we usually enter within 15 pips of the predicted level. And if it's an agreement with your own system, we use POC or buffer zones. So the time frame doesn't matter because POC or buffer zones are, are simply zones where we expect the price to react. Use scaling in. So my advice is to use scaling in because if you try to use scaling in, your profits can be exponentially higher and your losses can be exponentially lower. You can uh, watch my uh, webinar about scaling in, if you still are not sure what it means, but uh, in one sentence, it's a great way to actually boost your entries. So let's say that, just a quick explanation, let's say that this is our POC or buffer zone, and the price, and you decided to enter with 0 0.4 plots. So instead of entering with 0 0.4, as soon as the price hits the zone, you can enter with 0 0.10. If the price pulls back deeper within the zone, you're basically adding into retracement. But you keep your stop loss intact. 
In that case, you will be adding to retracement, and uh, your uh, if it bounces from POC, your profits will be exponentially uh, up. Your profits will be exponentially higher, and uh, if it hits your stop loss, your loss will, will be a lower exponentially because that is scaling in. Now the only drawback is that instead of placing a whole risk in, in a single trade, you might not have uh, the same amount of money once it goes to profit because sometimes you can get only one or two chances to scale in and then the price can reverse. But it's up to you how you manage your trade. I'm providing you with accurate zones, so pay attention. Respect your stop loss. You don't want to move your stop loss because your stop is predetermined. You need to know your risk before you place an entry. Your risk is based on your stop loss because you don't want to uh, place your entries based on how much you're willing to win. You need to think about how much you're willing to lose and because of that stop loss should always be placed. If you don't place a stop loss, well, you're playing a dangerous game now. I know a lot of traders from Forex Factory uh, who don't trade with stop loss and simply said, uh, uh, if I see a trader that who, who doesn't uh, place a stop loss, I, don't, I cannot consider him serious enough, no matter who he or she is. Add a spread to your stop loss. You need to add a spread. Because uh, even if you trade with ECN account, uh, your uh, your basically your spread determines uh, may determine uh, that additional edge. Because even if you see ECN account add two to five pips to your stop loss, just in case the price spikes and then reverses, we take only one position, whichever hits first. So it's either positional trade or alternative trade. First touches of the zones or levels are most profitable. So we will always focus on uh, uh, we will focus on trading those first touches because those are most profitable. Sometimes you will see that the price might hit, hit second or third time. You can take the trade. But you need to ensure that the first touch didn't provide at least 20 pips. If the first touch of the zone provided at least 20 pips, then the chances are that the next touch could basically reverse the price. It doesn't mean, guys, if you see that downward momentum is way too strong, you can opt for a second time. But it's always the first touch, it's always the best, the first touch of the zone. Position trades are called trend trades, alternative trades are called counter trend trades. So basically those are the names. Position trades are trend, alternative trades are counter trend. Breakout trades, scalp trade levels are done independently, they serve as a second entry. Depending on time and volatility, usage of trailing stop is highly recommended. I usually advise not less than 20 pips because you don't want to take less than 20 pips of profit. No matter what, that is the minimum uh, number of pips we want to take per trade. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Scalp trades should be done at or, at or very close to important support resistance level. All those trades are calculated by historical levels and Camarilla. You can add these levels to your system. No matter whether you will trade by these levels or by your own levels or zones, you will find these levels very powerful. And Pay attention to my Twitter updates because uh, the, the, as soon as I publish the analysis or revise the analysis, I will tweet about it. 
pips pool is the maximum available number of pips you could have gotten on recap entries. Ilya is saying hi. No, Ilya, you didn't miss a setup, so you are still good. These are past week results, 25th of April. Euro dollar, 440 pound dollar, we had two positions. Basically, I gave you two trades with pound dollar, uh, and uh, both were successful, so combined it was 130 pips. Australian dollar was 70, dollar cat was 50, euro yen was 60, and toll pips pool was 450. The trade of the week was euro dollar, but also every single one of these trades were very good. So I, I, cho I chosen euro dollar to be the trade of the week. This was euro dollar. So 1260 was our entry zone, you see, perfect one, straight from the zone towards the profits. And even today, guys, today's analysis was very, very good because uh, I knew that it, 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 will going, it, it was going to break. So this was uh, today's analysis, probably paid attention to. Okay, and 40.92 was broken, and uh, the final target was 15.57, but actually it went to 15.34. That is also a, a strong level, and it rejected. But I think that euro dollar is bullish, and uh, I think that euro dollar can give us good setups. I will show you that just after I finish with this. So euro dollar was good, uh, as you can see it. Uh, Basically, 1260 was hit, and the rest is history. Uh, pound dollar was also a good one. Basically, we had the buy position initiated. The first, the price was five pips shy from our buying spot, but when it hit the second time, I made the revised analysis, and I said that it could reject from this zone also, and basically, it happened. So pound dollar gave us 130 pips. It was a very, very good trade. Australian dollar was uh, also a good one. Uh, our uh, buy position was, was initiated here. So it was like 7690. Uh, I should have drawn this line a bit lower. So it was like 7690. And uh, we had nice pips with you uh, with Australian dollar. See the price hit our POC zone, and uh, it went in a good profit. Uh, Ilya is saying the prediction of Goldman Sachs that euro dollar will fall to parity by 2016 was wrong. Yes, guys, I have mentioned it many times before. The reason why I don't follow those, I respect banks. Uh, but I don't follow their analysis. Uh, the, the thing is, uh, I, I do my own analysis, Camarilla MACD, that is based on uh, very high accuracy, that is also based on how banks trade, but predictions of major banks were totally missed out. Uh, I really don't, I cannot read those Goldman Sachs. I know those are very huge, not very huge, those are huge, abnormally huge companies that are very, very uh, successful in their own job. But I just cannot rely on those mid-term to long-term analysis because there are so many fundamental factors that will decide about the price behavior so I just don't follow them. I follow only me and myself, okay, my and myself only. And uh, the reason I do this is that if I start to read all these predictions by Goldman Sachs, by Nomura, by, I don't know, a lot of different banks that, uh, can, uh, that can mix up with my views and analysis and simply I don't do that, okay. Everyone has their own right to do the analysis. Everyone has their own way how they do it. So 
it's it's not a problem in being wrong, but the thing is, let's say that there is hundred, sometimes more than hundred people here on these webinars. It's not a huge number, it's a good number, but it's not a huge number. And Goldman Sachs reports are read by thousands of people. So I would like those thousands of people to come and visit these webinars because I'm sure that they they can make more money with this analysis, this analysis and these analysis I've been doing than with all those reports by huge companies. I simply I, I simply I read from time to time, but I don't have the time to read it thoroughly, and I'm really not to be honest, I'm not interested in it. I follow the charts, I follow the price, and in my own knowledge, the price is the ultimate avatar of a core price action. So the price is everything. So that is uh, about Australian dollar. Now uh, Alexa is asking, any idea how can I snapshot? Well, Alexa, you can always press print screen and uh, you can basically snapshot with print screen. This was dollar cat analysis. Dollar cat, I did two setups uh, and basically I said wait for a potential watch for uh, additional momentum tw uh, below 26.78. It happened after the analysis and you see what happened. Basically huge drop below this level and we had a great great dollar cat trade. Alexa Doug is saying use green shot okay, for uh, snapshotting the screen so you can use green shot whatever. And finally Euro Yen. This was Euro Yen trade, another hit and another touch of our zone and another yet very profitable trade. So Euro Yen was excellent and this was one, this has been one of the best session recaps so far with more than 400 pips. Uh, Eitan is saying, what do you mean by one position? Well, if I say position buy, look at this for example, watch this. So if it hits a buy zone, POC zone, we will take only this setup. We will not be taking this setup because this setup was initiated first. That means only one position. And I say whichever hits first. Okay, whichever hits first. So that is what you do. Okay? Because if you take this entry, the chances are that this entry will not be successful. It can be, as you can see it here, but the trend was already started, it's bullish and you should buy the dips. Sometimes you can make profitable entries here, you see, it was good for 30 pips, but I only take one position, either position, trade or alternative. The only exception is breakout, because when you see breakout, you can make another position or scalp. When I say scalp, it also means you can take additional position. So that's it. Ilya is asking, according to Euro Yen, we must calculate plus minus 10 pips. Not 10 pips. Buffer zone is 15 pips. It's clearly explained here. 15 pips is our POC zone. But sometimes as in GBP dollar example, price can be five pips shy from our zone. In that case, I advise you to use scaling in, guys. Because I do predictions and this can happen today, tomorrow or sometimes the day after tomorrow. I don't have a crystal ball every time to say, okay, it will hit that zone and it will reject. Because of that, price is not so perfect and you need to take always these 15 pips of the zone. Also if you see that the price is very close to the zone but it doesn't reach it, try to scale in 
instead of placing 0 0.5, use 0 0.1. And you're still in the trade with low risk. Doug is saying uh, Japanese, uh, Doug, please reformulate the question. Uh, uh, alt trade. I, I'm not, uh, okay. Ethan is saying, what you do if it's again against correlation matrix? In that case, Ethan. I will be very careful with those trades. If it if it goes against correlation matrix, I will be careful. But it usually follows the matrix. It usually follows it, yeah. Uh, Euro dollar. This is well, as you can see, today we had a very good trade. So it was a bit awkward to make another trade as we already had a profitable trade on euro dollar but this is what it can happen 1460 buy 1410 stop loss 1530 target 1590 second target third target 1660 i would look to sell here around 1680 and if we see a breakout of 1534 i think that 100 and, uh, and 1560 and 1590 can be reached. Guys, be warned that there will be ADP on Wednesday, so be very cautious, okay? Because there will be NFP, sorry, ADP on this Wednesday. Now this is Euro dollar chart. Let me open it, and you can guys clearly see here. We are close now to this strong resistance here. Okay, so that is why I'm I'm saying you could try to sell from this zone, you see? So this is the zone where we could try to go for a sell. For buy trade guys, you look this is very, very strong. 1460 is the level we should be paying attention to here. Ilya is saying Thursday is holiday. Okay, but the, this, uh, these trades are valid for today, tomorrow, and only in the morning on Wednesday because we'll be having ADP. So Thursday is not, I will be, anyway, I will be coming with new analysis. Until then, you see here we have a bullish order block here. We have historical buyers now. So if it gets to this point, I think that it could be bought. As I explained, 1680 is sell spot. I would go with 1720 here, guys. Okay, so I will correct this, 1720. And uh, 1620 is the target. So I want to see first whether the price will continue or it will reject. But anyway, as I said, it's a bit, bit awkward because we already had a good trade set up today after the analysis. So now this is what I usually don't like to do when I see a profitable trade to make another similar setup. But that is, guys, that is what price action is giving to me. Now it it's only says go long, go long, go long. So. And the only level here is, yeah, uh, Nathan is saying uh, price broke previous highs, yes. So that is why I'm saying if it breaks 1534, we could see a breakout towards 1590, okay? So yes, if we see a breakout of this candle, we can, you see, this could be a master candle here. It's very strong, so we could see a master candle setup. So pay attention to these guys. It's interesting. If you don't know what a master candle is, please refer to my webinars about high volatility trading and, and about master candles. Uh, the price on euro dollar 
uh, now you see it was a weekly here see so weekly was let's see that where was weekly yeah indeed 1534 and it was indeed Nathan it was the first of February so if this breaks it, it should go higher so guys I'm really paying attention to this breakout because I think that the breakout itself will give us a money really so this is euro dollar pound dollar is another buy at 4600 45 40 stop loss 48 you yes it will depend a lot about news uh, all a lot from news also guys ADPs on Wednesday construction PMI tomorrow so pound dollar be careful about the setup because we will see some strong news tomorrow guys be careful okay so this is pound dollar and I will show you the chart so another strong rejection but see here guys this looks like a bullish squeeze to me this looks like a bullish squeeze if you don't know what a bullish squeeze is please refer to my previous webinars uh, I explained the pattern so this looks bullish to me it looks like a squeeze pattern and I think that uh, this could be bought this is pound dollar analysis 4600 by 4540 stop 48 target watch your breakout to the upside of 47 but be careful because we will have ADP on Wednesday and construction PMI on Tuesday okay so so this is pound dollar yes I still think that 48 can be reached and uh, I said it clearly on uh, Friday because on Friday you could see what happened the same one I didn't change my opinion and this was POC zone POC zone was hit you could have made more than 100 pips on this analysis okay because this was a way 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 in my opinion maybe the best setup oh okay the ODN was good one but this was also very very good because it came to this spot here and it rejected for 100 pips this is 4600 here and you can see a lot of rejections here see one two three four five six seven seven eight rejections here I would not go for a sell maybe I would be looking for a sell around 48 but at this point I'm still buying into dip on a pound dollar pair I'm still buying into dip so if you see the price here but be careful guys because of construction PMI on Tuesday be careful it can mess up with our analysis basically going lower than this point and then going higher later so be careful if you trade this setup tomorrow do it with a lower than usual risk breakout will happen above 47 and because of this this is a squeeze pattern see the height was 4696 if it breaks this region guys definitely we need to change to weekly Camarilla points and here you see it has big potential so pay attention to pound dollar 
Australian dollar, again, guys, I will not be trading Australian dollar, but because it's uh, as it it's always been on every single webinar, I've been showing Australian dollar analysis. This is only potential rejection, but again, cash rate announcement will be held tonight. So please don't be very, very fast with uh, pulling the trigger. You need to be careful because you don't know what can happen. We need to be very careful with this because, guys, uh, this kind of news can really mess up with our analysis. You need to watch for it. Okay, you need to be very careful. That is why I'm saying I know that you a lot of you are very keen to pull the trigger. But guys, please be careful about this. It's way too important just to be traded like it's nothing. So cash rate announcement at conference will move the price. So at this point I see 7560 as a potential buy with 7520 for a stop loss, 77 is a target. 7700 is a sell position. 7730 is stop loss. 7630 is target price. Okay, so that is what I see. And uh, as I say, I won't be trading this setup simply because there will be strong news, so called cash rate announcement. Okay, just because of that. If it wasn't for the news, I would be probably trading it. And here it is. Okay. So our entry is 7560. So 7560. See here. Let's say this is the zone here to here. A lot of historical buying from this spot. So on this, in, if the news are not that good, it the pair could reject and get back in this mini uptrend. But you need to be careful, guys, just because of the news. So 7560 for sell 7700. because of this. Somewhere around this region here, the price could reject. So pay attention to either buy position or a sell position. And cash rate announcement is the major news tonight, so as I say, careful. Questions will be answered just after I finish the slides. Euro GBP, 77.90 by 77.40 stop loss, 80.00 is the target. So Euro GBP, you can see it here. 77.90, 77 40, 80 00. If we see this is uptrend, clearly, and this is ascending scallop now. So I want to see a deeper pullback. Only if we see a deeper pullback, okay, I'll be looking to buy. So this is my buying spot, and this is the stop loss, because this is the target. So I am aiming for a deep for a better dip, okay? Look at this, guys. Here, so this is your buying spot here. I'm aiming for this one, 77.90. 
towards 800. Okay? Yes, target price is 200 pips, stop loss is 50 pips potential, so yeah. Euro GBP. And dollar yen, dollar yen will drop further. Now the question is whether we will be there to take a trade or not or miss it. I would like that we take the trade actually. Dollar yen is downtrend. I have made a, I'm not sure that you read my uh, fundamental, uh, I will show you this. I did an interview with Forex Street and actually this was the interview today. Fed is not hiking anytime soon. So m all of these pairs that are cross versus dollar are getting stronger. Yen is getting stronger versus dollar. Euro is getting stronger versus dollar. Pound is getting stronger versus dollar. So dollar index is also very low. And here, guys, you can see here, I explained some few things. And I think that dollar weakness should continue until the Brexit. Okay? So pay attention to these interviews. They can give you additional hints about potential movements. Those are strictly fundamental, but it's, it's good because uh, it explains a lot. Here, dollar yen trade. 170, zero, sorry, 107.60 sell, 108.00 stop, 105.40 target. We also, guys, watch for potential 160.90 rejection because there is also a spot we can see a rejection. The only buy on this pair is 105.20. That is the only buy trade I can see. Okay. So dollar yen. Okay, see it, it's going down. It, it will go more down, but you should be paying attention to this level or eventually to this zone here, guys. So pay attention to 160, 87, uh, 80, 90, another rejection. It could mean it could reject the price towards weekly support and weekly support is here. 105.40 and 105.20 is here. That, those are the reasons for both sell and buy trades. There is no setup for Kiwi, but I can take a look at it. So guys, I will roll the slides again. Now you can ask questions. Doug is asking, Japanese uh, uh, Bank of Japan interest rate on Wednesday, 27th, initiated Australian dollar price fall 200 pips that made Australian dollar buy possible. How would one trade at Ponon GP? Yes, okay. Doug, uh, Australian dollar is very, uh, uh, especially Australian dollar yen, is very heavily correlated to Nikkei index. I have explained many times in the past so if you take correlation matrix, you can always see it clearly. So here we have uh, Audien, okay, I will also add Australian dollar. Okay, add here and watch the correlation. Intraday correlation is very uh, strong. This is Nikkei index. This is, you see, Audien is 95% correlated to Nikkei index. But look at this. Australian dollar is 70% correlated to ODN. Okay, so when you get these two numbers, you can see that Japanese Nikkei index is also correlated to 50% to Australian dollar. It's not that high correlation, but simply because of these two correlations, it means that they go in the same direction. Uh, you need to understand one simple fact. If you want to trade uh, Asian session, you don't go with pound dollar, you don't go with 
uh, euro dollar guys you want to trade Orien Australian dollar New Zealand yen those are pairs to be traded and dollar yen on in in Asia session simply because those kind of movements guys will decide possibly will decide next rallies or next selling because when Japanese index is going up you will also see Orien going up too and to some extent Australian dollar going up when you see Japanese index going up it will also reflect on pound yen it will definitely reflect on dollar yen so those are the pairs that should be traded during Asia session don't be crazy to trade euro dollar on Asia session it's, it's nonsense guys pound dollar why would you do that yen crosses New Zealand and Australian dollar this is far the best pair in my opinion to trade on the end uh, any setup for Kiwi yes I will so w once more let's sum it up all up Doug uh, Australian dollar is commodity currency it's moved by equities so when equities start to move it will move Australian dollar but it will also move Australian dollar yen New Zealand dollar okay first question is New Zealand dollar I will use it. we need to be fast with our analysis this is not a full analysis so see here it's going up so I think that this is a rectangle consolidation here and uh, it can as soon as it breaks this spot it could continue to this spot and even more then we should move on to weekly pivot points here so yes this is up you can also place equidistant channel here Yeah, definitely play, uh, pay attention to this channel and possible breakout. The trading scenarios on Twitter, no Kelly. It's a bit of against, uh, uh, you know, I always put your capital is at risk because uh, Admiral Markets is very, very a regulated broker. So if I put it now at this point, I would need to put every single uh, risk disclaimer on every single uh, chart. So. I will be uploading it to YouTube channel so you can always watch it again no problem but pay attention you can snapshot this chart so euro dollar pound dollar Australian dollar euro GBP dollar yen and dollar CAD I didn't make any setup about dollar CAD but I said it's very nasty now because it's it's in downtrend but this is actually a bullish flag so it can go up but I wouldn't take trade it at this point uh, Ilya is saying thanks for uploading again high low webinar on YouTube you're welcome Nafisa is saying problem is the webinar is uploaded far too long after the session. Yeah, Nafisa, I will be trying to upload it in next two hours. So, but you saw the setup. You you saw Nafisa. You saw every single setup here. So you just need to take screenshots or notes or mark it on your chart or screen, and everything is easy then. Okay, guys. Yes, Lafisa, you're right. Uh, she's saying uh, to remember what you say is also important. Yes, it's important. But if you if you need to listen to me yet another time, you can always go on YouTube and watch webinars 
all is recorded and all is uploaded. <laughs> no problem. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks, all. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, you can you can always record it yourself, of course. Thank you guys for listening. I will be here with you soon. Thanks, Derek, for uh, such great comments. And I wish you a great evening. Cheers, everyone.